Hello and welcome to another Weka tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use uh, Weka to produce the receiver operating characteristic or rock carve yeah, for your experiment. So actually this tutorial will have another part, part 2, where I'll, be, uh, where I'll try to show you how you can compare multiple number of uh, rock carves for multiple number of classifiers to see the to compare the results but in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can produce one single rock curve for a one classifier so in order to do that I'm going to the Explorer application of Weka and I'm opening the file uh, diabetes.r file for the first time so I'm going to the Weka uh, repository here and inside dataset data I have the diabetes.r file so you can see that if I go to the class of this r file we are having two classes tested negative and tested positive that means whether you are having a diabetes or not so in order to produce a rock curve uh, for any classifier the first task is to uh, choose a classifier and classify the instances of this uh, r file so we're going to click on start and you can see that the measure is 82.3% for the negative class, 64.3% for the positive class, and 76% uh, as a combination of those. And uh, if you if you if you just take a look at the evaluation measures used uh, in data mining, uh, frequently precision, recall, left measure, and accuracy, these are not considered as cost cost sensitive analysis measures so what is a cost sensitive analysis measure so let me just briefly tell you that if your data set is heavily skewed for example 90 percent of its items or instances are positive instances and 10 percent of the instances are negative instances so in that case if you uh, produce any classifier that's really really bad that doesn't know uh, the difference between the positive and negative instances it just blindly tells everything as positive so in that case it's a bad classifier but it is uh, at least having 90 percent of the accuracy because it tells everything as positive and your data set is having 90 percent of the po uh, 90 percent items as po labeled as positive so its accuracy is as high as 90 percent but that's not the true or the appropriate accuracy for the classifier because it's really really badly designed so these measures they have measure precision recall and accuracy is here uh, you can all find the accuracy is here the accuracy is 76.3 uh, percent so maybe they are not reflecting the appropriate accuracy they are not re reflecting the appropriate evaluation of your classifier so rock curve or receiver operating characteristic curve uh, is a visualization tool by which you can tell easily easily that uh, uh, in, a, in a cost sensitive manner of course that whether your classifier is a really appropriate one, appropriate one or not so in order to know rock curves more you have to dig in for more so we have uh, these uh, cost insensitive analysis here precision recall and measure now we're going to produce a rock curve so on the result list, uh, uh, right click on, on the result here and you can see that there, uh, there is an option called visualize threshold curve. And if I just hover my mouse over there, you can see that we are having two options. One is tested negative and tested positive. So this means that you, if you are trying to produce a rock curve uh, for a two class problem, then you are having uh, options to have rock curves for the two classes. If you can recall, we are having tested negative and tested positive classes for diabetes uh, R file. So we can produce two types of rock curves there, one for the negative classes and other for uh, the positive classes. So uh, for example, we're just uh, interested in, tes in tested negative instances. So we click on that and you can see that uh, instantly the rock curve has been produced. So in rock curve, you are having uh, false positive rates uh, on the x-axis and uh, the true positive rate uh, also called the recall 
on the y-axis and uh, this has been just drawn so in rock curve the main goal is to uh, have this curve lot more to the upper left corner which is one so uh, this means that uh, you are having uh, a very very good classifier if your classifiers rock curve is uh, 10 is 10 is more to this direction okay in a, in, in a different way to interpret this in a different way you can also find area under rock or area under rock curve or AUC which is clearly given here that is 81.86 percent and 81.86 percent is a very very uh, reasonable amount of uh, AUC so you can see also see that uh, this rock curve is uh, is not uh, is not is reasonable one uh, to me it's, it's a good one it's not a bad one so we are having a very very uh, reasonable rock curve here and also the number tells the truth that 81.86 percent of the AUC or in the area under rock curve is also a very reasonable uh, AUC so in this way you can you can really produce the rock curve for uh, your experiment. I hope that helps. I'll be back to uh, give you more but the next tutorial is going to be how to get the precision recall curve uh, for your experiment and then I'll tell you how you can compare multiple numbers of rock curves. Thank you.